Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math questions out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve. Excuse me. Is the one that you will find on page number 219. And today is our lesson number 80. Problem number 5 is what we are about to do. They are asking us. What are the prime divisors of 100? Prime divisors of 100. What does it mean, divisors? Let's take, let's take care of that part first. First thing first, a divisor, a divisor is just a very fancy way of saying factors. So here they are looking for not all the factors of 100, but just the prime factors. And this is how we do it. Write down your 100 and you start dividing it by the lowest possible number that you can find. Not including 1 obviously, there will be no point in it. Let's start with 2. 200 divided by 2 is 50, that's an even number, we can go one more round. 50 divided by 2 is 25 and then we can't do it, divide 25 by 3 or 4. The lowest number I can think of is 5 and that's it, which means, which means 100 equals 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Therefore, the prime factors of 100 are, prime factors of 100 are, see, 2 and a 2, they do not, they do not count twice. If, you, if something repeats, you just write it once. 2 is a prime factor and 5 is the prime factor of 100. That's it. There are no other prime factors of 100. 100 has only two prime factors. I'm going to give you a bonus question. Here's the bonus question. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. I know you always wanted a bonus GRE question. I know I did. I always dreamed of having a bonus GRE question ever since I was a little four-year-old girl. So here we go. Yes, you heard me right. Bonus questions. What are... What are... Or better yet, instead of saying what are, simply list all factors of 100. All factors. And the key, the key here is to go systematically. Slowly, methodically, and systematically, and you will not miss one. Here is how we do it. We know 100 equals 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. That's 100. So let's take care of singles first. We have a 2. We have a 5. That was a straightforward thing. So that takes care of singles. Now we do pairs slowly so we don't miss anything. Let's do pairs. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 5 is 10. 5 times 5 is 25. So we took care of our pairs. Now let's do a Let's do a pair with a single. Let's see what, where we go with it. A pair with a single. Here's a 2 times 2 times 5. 2 times 2 is 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Similarly, here we have, here we'll have 2 times 5, which is 10 times 5, which gives us 50. And finally, we'll have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, which is 25. We already have that. So we have, we have our pairs. Finally, we have to take care of the triple. I think we already took care of triples also. 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. There are only two possibilities for triple, which is to do these, which is 4 times 5. We already have that. 4 times 5 is 20. Or this way, which is the same exact thing, but which is a 25 times 2, which, which we already have. That's it. Only thing left here is one. Only thing that is left at this point is 100, and in the beginning a one. And that should pretty much do it. One, two, and of course you can list them later. You can list them in order later on. One, two, four, five, ten, twenty, twenty-five, fifty, fifty-five, 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 fifty-five
50 and 100. And that's about it. Let's do the next one. Part B says, what a positive divisor, no, what a prime divisor of 144. Prime dividers of 144. So we're going to do the exact same thing that we did before. And if this bothers you, you can list them in order, as I said before. Let's list them in order. One, two, four, five, ten, twenty, twenty-five, fifty, and one hundred. These are the factors of one hundred. All the factors. Again, one more time. Divisor simply means factors. And we're going to do the exact same thing for one, that we did for hundred. We're going to do it for one forty-four. So let's do it here. It's an even number. So let's start with two. How many twos in a one? There are zero twos in a one. This one goes and joins this four, becomes fourteen. How many twos in a fourteen? There are seven of them. How many twos in a four? There's two of them. And we get an even number. So we go one more round. Because it's an even number, we can divide it again by two. How many twos in a seven? There are three twos in a seven. The remaining one goes here, joins this guy, becomes twelve. How many twos in a twelve? There are six of them. Well, we get an even number again, one more time. So we go one more round. How many twos in a three? It's one two. The remaining one goes and joins this guy. Becomes sixteen. How many twos in a sixteen? There are eight of them. Oh, again an even number. We go one more round. How many twos in eighteen? There are nine of them. We can no we can no longer divide by two, so we go to three. That's it. That's the end of the story. Which means. Which means that 144 equals 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 3 times 3, which means 16 times 9 better give us our 144. Of course it will. 9, 6 is 54, 4 carry 5. And 9 plus 5 is 14. Voila. You see where I got 16 times 9? This is 16. This part is 16. And this part is your 9. Anyway, that wasn't the point. I was just verifying it. Since, since the factors of 144 only involve 2s and 3s and nothing else, therefore the prime factors of 144 are 2 and 3 only, that's it. 144 has only two prime factors. Just like 100 had only 2 and 5. That's it, that's all there is. That's the end of it. I will see you tomorrow on day number 81. Alright, bye now.